welcome to Tokyo Pen Adventures 2017, episode day three. Today's episode is brought to you by Kirin Lunchtime Milk Tea. Slightly on the sweet side, but it's got a very good milky taste. And Hagen Dazs. Mochi ice cream. It is basically like brown sugar ice or, or ice cream, a large splat of, of big round mochi, very very, very squidgy jelly like thing, and then then then, then brown sugar spread all over it. I believe this is a no, it's not. It's just a regular edition. Doesn't matter. It's special to me. Uh, today was another very very busy day. Uh, very productive as well. I met up with a friend this morning and we took a walk around the area with the Toya, the massive seven, eight story uh, stationery store where, which now houses the fountain pens. In the past, they had this separate Gia Toya building where, where, you, where you had normal pens and fancy pens. Now all those are on the third floor for good and for bad. Uh, I personally feel they should be keeping the fancy pens, like, like, like the art, the art pens and the actual usable pens separate, but maybe, maybe they have space issues or something. I don't know. It's not because us average people don't deserve to see those pens. It, it it's just that I, I think the sort of clientele who, who are getting those nice pens would probably appreciate the old space, which was on the second floor. There were, there were super nice couches everywhere, very quiet, very peaceful, nice classical music playing in the background. There was one side of the room with, with, with a glass window where you could see all, all, all the repairmen doing their stuff. And if you wanted to buy anything, it, there'd be this old guy behind a big desk doing paperwork or, or just talking to the, to the guests one on one. I, I, I think it was a much more personal, uh, uh, personal sort of affair. Like, even if you went up there like I did just to buy some, <laughs> some of the cheap stuff like I did two years ago. Uh, I, I, bought, I bought some of the Nakaya pen kimonos and um, some of the Makie, uh, Makie platinum converters. Very cheap. Magnitudes cheaper than, than the actual pen, but, but the mat amount was very nice. But I, I, I suppose on the plus side, it now gives everyone something to aim for. Some of these nice chinkin raden. Everything. Uh, one thing to note, uh, this is very fairly uh, new news, it is that Itoya is now stocking Kobe inks from the regular series. When I was there, there was an entire bunch of inks from number one all the way to number 61. There is a small limit, I think it was one pen, one box, one, one ink per person. Uh, I, I, I still think that's a good thing because the only other way to get them is either get them online or go to Kobe. We also went to Character Street, which is a, a sort of shopping street in Tokyo Station, which has a lot of uh, stores dedicated to individual cartoon manga characters, uh, like Pikachu, which, which they, 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 have a, they have a Pokemon store there which sells a uh, train, train conductor Pikachu. I passed by just to take a look and. I played with the Gachapon thing, 300 yen, and I got a small figurine of Pikachu in a Team Flare costume. Very adorable. So that's that. Um, I also passed by the movement store, uh, and just to take a look. And what I saw in there was this wonderful watch. Uh, this is, this is a collaboration between Seiko and Epson. It, 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 um, they have their own version of e-ink, um, and, and they call this smart canvas technology, which basically just means they, they, they put two watch straps on uh, what is essentially a very tiny screen with e-ink that shows the time. So the best part about this is that, in, obviously you can make it show just numbers, but uh, they, they can also display like comic strip panels and then in there it is, is a conveniently placed clock or watch that tells the correct time. It doesn't make this for like Rilakkuma and Snoopy and a whole bunch of others. 
So, so like you could imagine on, on the Snoopy one, uh, uh, it, it, it's a classic Snoopy Charlie Brown panel. Maybe they're indoors, uh, and, 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 there's a, and, and there's a clock on the left which shows the correct time, but like analog. So, uh, very cool. Can't buy this online. I, 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 I had to go to the store specifically. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, yes, this is what I bought instead of buying the Sailor Kingdom no vegetable pens. Shinjuku is too far away. Uh, and then I headed off to a day of art exhibits in Robongi. Uh, I, the, the, the sort of first sort of stuff I, I read about Robongi, 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 uh, in the past what, what, what was how dodgy the, the, the bars were in the area after like 10 p.m. or something with like, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, but, but in, in one particular area, there, there's a whole bunch of design galleries and art galleries. Uh, and some of my friends were interested, so I just, I, I just tagged along. Uh, while we were waiting for, for everyone to, to, to show up, uh, there, there was a nearby Fuji store. That's like Fuji film. The Instax, the, the cameras, uh, and, and and they're also doing two small uh, two, 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 two small galleries. One of which was the world's most beautiful cats, and the other one was an actual slightly more normal uh, photo exhibit by some Japanese photographer. So that's super cool. And then we went into two places. The first was like. 2121 Design, I think that's the name, name, name of the place. Uh, it's a fairly small place next to Midtown, next to Midtown in Roppongi. Uh, and and uh, it was some sort of kinetic exhibit, j j just a whole lot of uh, art or, 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 or interactive art installations related to movement, sports, reaction times, everything. It was sort of, sort of like half sciencey, half artsy, or, or like projected video on, onto walls with, with uh, showing the sort of motion tracked movements of of hurdlers, marathon runners, sprinters, like gymnasts doing acrobatic movements, all, all that sort of like pole vaulters. Uh, and they, they had all, all recorded and, and they would replay it back on the walls in like stop motion and everything. That was super cool. Uh, the other, the other exhibit that I went to was um, this lady called Yo Yayoi Kusuma. Sorry, Yayoi Kusama, who is uh, a fairly old lady by now, but um, she has a very distinct, bright, slightly psychedelic art style um, on both on both canvas and actual sculptures. And then we went to dinner in uh, Akihabara. Mostly because I wanted to go to the Yodobashi camera store, which is a very large electronics department store. It's the biggest one in Tokyo. Uh, it, it, it's, I think it's a main branch. And we were there to have dinner, which uh, consisted of not pork cutlet, but tuna cutlet, beef cutlet, and wagyu cutlet. So you know how with like a pork shop, it has to be all cooked and it's breaded and it's uh, uh, crunchy. For these other three meats, you're allowed to keep the insides raw. So 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 it, it it's not like you had to like cook it before, like, like cook it and then deep fry it. It was just um, once you cut through the the the, the, the tuna the. Or, or, or like the beef pieces, you could see it was still like medium rare inside. Very good. I can't remember the name though. It's in the top floor of Akihabara, Akihabara uh, Yudabashi. I'm sure they have branches elsewhere. And then we just spent the rest of the evening slowly circling our way down each floor and just checking out the stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow there will be more pen stuff, actual pen stuff, none of this walk around art exhibit silliness. Uh, that's it. Until tomorrow, I'm gonna have you some ice cream.
你力气不够啊<笑>